Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot and we're going to be going around the World Showcase trying the brand new food and wine booths. We have Mac and Eats, Coastal Eats, the Noodle Exchange and Hawaii all opened up today. Now all the booths are officially open for food and wine and then also was able to get a lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a super hot day out today, and like I said, it's August 15th. It's 91 degrees out, and we might get a little rain later on, but I feel like that's every day in Florida, and I'm just kind of excited to try some new food, some new food and wine food. I think it's so amazing how I was able to grab a lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The fact that they're still available, I mean it is $17, I mean $17 for a lightning lane, but at least we get to ride. I think the virtual queues are all sold out, and I kind of thought it was just lucky, like I was just lucky to go in and see it, but I just checked now, and they are still available. You can literally just buy a lightning lane right now at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and go ride Guardians of the Galaxy. I just want to show you guys because I think that is so crazy. Like these were so hard to get and now it is 4.12 in the afternoon and if I was just arriving, even though I already have a lightning lane, but if I was just coming to the park and I didn't have a lightning lane, I could buy one and go ride in 8 minutes. That's crazy. Guardians of the Galaxy, the newest, hottest ride at Walt Disney World. Since Mac and Eats and Coastal Eats is actually right next to Guardians of the Galaxy, I think we'll actually head there first. We'll get maybe some food, maybe some drinks, then go ride Guardians, then make our way over to Hawaii and the Noodle Exchange. I'm definitely a little bit weary of the Noodle Exchange, especially because we're going to get some ramen on a super hot, hot day. And here they are, right next to each other, Coastal Eats and Mac and Eats. I think we're going to do Coastal Eats first. They got a couple of things on the menu. They got baked scampi dip with shrimp, scallops, and a baguette. Oh, and they got scallops. You guys know I just recently kind of fell in love with them. They also have Oysters Rockefeller. I've never had anything like that in my life, but I'm willing to try it so that you guys can enjoy watching me eat something that I've never had before. They also have a couple of drinks too. They got Bell's Lager of the Lakes. That actually sounds really good. A Cape Cotter. Cape Cotter sounds good. Yeah, some really good mixed drinks. So we'll get something from here and then Mac and Eats. Out of all the booths, I do have to say I'm probably most excited for the Hawaii booth. I love the uh, port slider that they have, and this year they have Spam Sushi. Yes, I'm saying that right. Spam Sushi, and I cannot wait to try it. I think that's going to be so amazing. But this is what we got. We've got the Oysters Rockefeller, and I can't remember whether or not I've ever had this before. I might have tried it once in my lifetime, but if not, we're going to find out. I can't remember, you know what I mean? I'm not the biggest oyster person, and if you guys have been watching the videos, I'm just now starting to expand my palate when it comes to seafood. And here's the baked scampi dip with shrimp, scallops, and a baguette. That looks good. And then the Cape Cotter, which is uh, Boyd and Blair Vodka with cranberry, pomegranate, and lime. And and remember I was telling you how hot it is? Look, the ice has already melted it down. Like, it, <laughs> it's almost no ice in there at all. I like how they add some grilled lemon for the Oysters Rockefeller. So we're gonna actually add the lemon. I found out you gotta put lemon on everything. If they give you a lemon, you gotta put that lemon on everything. Look at that. I'm gonna give it, oh, oh my lord. Lemony fresh. I think of that when I see it. Whenever that happens with the lemons, I think of uh, Taz from Space Jam. But holy moly, that was a lot of lemon, wasn't it? All right, I'm going Oyster Rockefeller first. And like I said, this is very adventurous for me. So here we go. Mmm. Now I'm going to dive into the extremely watered down Cape Cotter. Cape Cotter. <laughs> the lime is just floating in there. Here we go, and I need this. I am so hot right now. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. And that is really good, actually. That's very, very refreshing. Not too strong. The pomegranate is nice. I'm a fan of the Cape Cotter. I'm a fan of the Cape Cotter. Now it's time for the scampi, and I gotta see what it looks like on the inside first. Let's see. Oh, okay. Looks very scampi-ish. I can see some shrimp in there, some scallops. I wonder if they have like the bait. I actually, I don't see any shrimps. I just see the scallops. Come on, little shrimp. Where are you? 
looking for you. Oh, I don't see any. I think I might have been. I think I might have been shrimped out. Yep. I think they 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 shorted me on the shrimp. Lots of baby scallops, but no shrimp in there. But at least we got a baguette. Maurice, hurry up! The baguettes. Let's go and uh, dip our little baguette in there. See if we can. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can pull out a scallop on top of there. Let's see. That's what we gotta do. We're gonna take that. Put the scallop. The scallop on top of the baguette. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you eat some scampi. Every time I actually hear a baguette, I think of Maurice and Beauty and the Beast. Just say it. Just throwing that out there. Maurice, hurry up! The baguettes. <laughs> oh, the scampi is actually really, really good. I wasn't expecting that. That is good. I'm not too sure if it's the combination of the amazing baguettes or it's just, I mean, I really do like this. And I like shrimp scampi, so this is a little bit different because it's like a scampi dip. But I wish I had shrimp. That's all I'm saying. If I could have just had one little baby shrimp in there, just one. I keep looking and I'm just not seeing nothing. Enough with the coastal eats. Now it's time for the mac and eats. And I would have to say, if I were to choose between the uh, oysters and the scampi, I would go with the scampi. The scampi was pretty amazing. I mean, the oysters, I, I don't know. I, 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 maybe I'm just not the biggest oyster fan. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I liked it. I thought it was okay, but it was just kind of like a spinach dip with uh, lots of lemon and breadcrumbs. Uh, but also the drink was really good. Actually, that was my favorite thing out of everything was probably the Cape Cotter. Directly next to the Coastal Eats is the Mac and Eats, and it's basically all about mac and cheese here. They got the traditional mac and cheese with the panko. They got the cowboy macaroni and cheese with smoked pork belly, brisket, burnt ends, pickled peppers, onion straws, and barbecue aioli. And they also have chili cheese macaroni. Look at that. And this one now, the chili cheese is actually plant-based, so that's really interesting. I think I'm gonna go with the cowboy mac and cheese, and I ran into my friends for the love of theme parks and they have a great YouTube channel and they're gonna actually get the traditional mac and cheese and they're gonna give us kind of a little review on the mac and cheese itself because if you go traditional it's just a mac and cheese I feel like that's in every single one of them I'm more about the cowboy so I want to try the brisket and I also want to try the burnt ends and some of the onions you know what I mean let, they're gonna let us know about the, the actual mac and cheese I want the brisket fancy right. stuff we've got one traditional and one cowboy mac and cheese yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for that. I've been hearing it the whole time and I was getting excited. <laughs> yep. Oh, thank you. Fancy. <laughs> One thing I definitely have to point out, if you're stopping at these two booths to actually get something neat, there's almost no shade. So like the sun is just beating down on you. It is so, so hot. It's almost impo like, impossible to find a place to eat like with some shade over in that whole general vicinity there. And take a look at this. They're actually gonna be trying the traditional mac and cheese for me. You know, I'm very excited. You guys, uh, cheese connoisseurs. Yes. Yeah. She's a cheese connoisseur. I'm a cheese I am a cheese uh, tolerator. Tolerator. <laughs> oh, I like that. This is really fancy. It's got pink, uh, pico uh, breadcrumbs on there. Yeah, it looks really oh, good. It does actually look pretty good. Well, yeah, I mean, give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. It looks good. That's good. Is it good? The breadcrumbs are really good. That's a nice addition. It's a little, like the cheese is like like a more of like a Alfredo y type cheese. It's very subtle. It's like oh. light. It's like light. So it's like yeah. it's more noodly than cheesy. So yeah. if you're not into cheese and somebody in your group is stopping here, this would be an okay one to get, I yeah. would say at least. Really? Yeah. I might give it a go. I might try yeah. it now. It's actually oh. not it's not super cheesy, I would say. Well, that's good to know. Well thanks guys. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Well, there you have it. They said the mac and cheese was actually really good and it wasn't too heavy. It was very light. So I might actually try the noodles too, but here is the cowboy mac and cheese and I see lots of meat in there. I don't see many onions though, like just little tiny bits here, but lots of the actual uh, burnt ends and I'm excited. I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna give it a go here. I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> Time for the brisket and burnt end check here. Oh yeah, that's good. Now I'm actually going to try the noodle too. I like the noodle style. So I think it's cavatappi. Cavatappi maybe? I'm going to give it a go. Oh yeah. That is amazing actually. I'm all on board with the brisket 
and the burn ends and the noodles are actually not that bad like i'm not the biggest mac and cheese fan and i know that's shocking but i would eat this I'm, I, I mean i'm gonna actually eat this because i don't know why it, it doesn't taste so i like a lot of cheese but i don't like super super sharp cheese and mac and cheese usually is loaded with it but uh it's kind of just like ryan said like an alfredo kind of sauce it's very good all right enough with the mac and cheese business Let's go ride Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm very excited to ride Guardians of the Galaxy. After we ride Guardians, we're actually gonna make our way back into World Showcase. We still have the Noodle Exchange and Hawaii to get the Spam Sushi. So uh, at least we got something really fun to look forward to once we get off the ride. Let me know in the comments if you had the ability just to buy uh, a Lightning Lane for $17 and not have to worry about joining a virtual queue or anything like that. Would you do it? Would you fork over the $17 just to not have to try to get that virtual queue or to wake up at like 7 in the morning? Or uh, would you just wait around and get the virtual queue and if you don't get it, you don't get the ride? I mean, like I said, me, I get to come all the time. So if you plan it out, like, yeah, you know what, today I'm just gonna come and do this, uh, then it's kind of worth it for $17. And I feel like a lot of people that are on vacation, if they don't want to wake up extra early or if they you know just want a guaranteed thing i think i think they would too so i don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think it's been a long time since i've been able to come and visit the wonders of xandar from our world to yours and the ac is amazing in this world It is so bright and blue in here, but here is the standby line. Like I said, we are in the lightning lane, but holy moly, there's almost no wait. I mean, even for just standby, hooked on a feeling. I have gotten just about every single song on this ride, but I still love uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Hands down my favorite. So I'm gonna be looking for that one. Honestly, I really believe one of the best things about this ride is the AC. It hits so hard. It really does. Like, I feel so relieved right now. Sean, what song are you hoping to get? I'm hoping Sweet Child of Mine by Aerosmith. Oh, yes. That so would we'll be a good one. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Here it comes. Front row today. I'm so excited. We're in cart five. Five's our lucky number. Oop. Today. I've never sat the front. Really? Okay, they're headed for the jump point. This plane is never gonna work. Rocket! Well? Okay, I'm walking down to your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you are likely doomed. Rex! <laughs> Much too good. Oh. Much, much, much too good. Much too good. You're all heroes, so do you really think they deserve to be called heroes? Or do you see all the dress? It's just a figure of speech, Jax. Wow, I like my shirt today. It's so good. Yeah, I know, right? If you're if you're hot, you're instantly cooled off. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Seriously, it's such a fun ride. And the AC, and you just feel cool, and you're just kind of floating through space. So amazing. And honestly, I want to say that it is probably the coolest ride in Walt Disney. I won't say it's my favorite because I'm that like nostalgic kind of person, but I think it's just like 
very, very fast. I think it's way better than Flight of Passage. I mean, I don't know if that is a, uh, uh, not a, a favorable opinion, but uh, in my opinion, I think Guardians is better than Flight of Passage. Since we did Guardians already, maybe after we eat at the Noodle Exchange in Hawaii, might come back to Test Track, ride the single rider. Probably a no wait, and I just love Test Track. I mean, Epcot right now has become the thrill park of uh, Walt Disney World. I think it's got probably almost the same amount of thrill rides as Hollywood Studios. I don't know, I have to count that up though. Now, let's just think about this for a second. What I would classify as a thrill ride. I think here in Epcot, Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously thrill ride. Test Track, Soren, and also Frozen. I would classify that as a thrill ride because there is a drop. I mean, there is a drop. Now, it might not be thrilling, but uh, there is a drop. And then also, maybe Ratatouille, Remy's? Like, I don't know. And over in Hollywood Studios, I think we would have Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, Smuggler's Run, Slinky Dog Dash. Rise of the Resistance, oh no, Hollywood Studios I think still has the most. I think they literally have the most thrill rides, even more than Magic Kingdom. Now it's time we make our way into World Showcase, but I had to stop to actually admire the monorail passing by. I think Hawaii and Noodle Exchange are actually right here, but just look at that. It's like a monorail driving off into the sunset. It's beautiful. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but take a look at the amazing Finding Nemo Roosevelt shirt. Check this out. I love it. They actually just launched a big line of Pixar collaborations, even some Ratatouille shirts, which I am going to be wearing. I'm going to be wearing them very soon. So if you guys are interested, check the link in the description. You get 20% off your first order if you use my promo code. And they have a lot of good Pixar shirts. I mean, I'm very excited for this. As soon as you make your way into World Showcase, you have the Noodle Exchange to your left, which is right here. Uh, there is nobody in line for the Noodle Exchange. Like I said, they serve ramen and it's going to be very hot. But, and then uh, immediately on the right, you have the Hawaii stay, uh, the Hawaii booth. And uh, look at it, the line's so long. So I think we're going to do Noodle Exchange first and then come back, get ourselves some Spam uh, Sushi. Spam Sushi! Here is the menu for the noodle exchange. We've got traditional beef pho, and then Chinese char siu pork udon, and then they have Thai shrimp and coconut curry rice noodles. I'm actually a little bit interested in the coconut uh, curry rice noodles. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Then they also have tofu, and they have a special green tea pale ale. I think I've had this last year. I wasn't the biggest fan of the green tea pale ale, so I don't know if we're gonna get anything to drink, maybe just some soup. Good soup. <laughs> I'm not too sure if any of the uh, offerings are new this year compared to last year, but I do like the udon noodles, so I think I'm gonna go with that one. And here it is. It actually looks phenomenal. The pork looks good. I'm not too sure how I feel about those noodles, though. I don't know, they're not the, what I would expect. And lots of mushroom in there, so I think we're gonna dive in. First, let's try a little bit of the broth. Yeah, I gotta get some of that. Hot soup on a hot day. Cold soup on a hot day. <laughs> now, to be fair, it's cold because uh, I do take my time and I make the film and I make the videos, take the pictures. I stop usually. So I bought this probably, I would say, 10 minutes ago, I would say, maybe about 10 minutes ago. So uh, we're diving in here. We're going for it. <laughs> I seen this fun video where people kind of swirl their uh, noodles a little bit, so I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. But like they, I don't know how they do it. They're like this. Oh, oh it almost worked. Oh nope, it kind of fell apart there. But anyway, here we go. Not the biggest fan of the noodles themselves. I mean, they're okay, but I kind of taste like pasta noodles. But now we gotta try the pork. I mean, that's the most important piece right here. Now we're gonna try the pork here, and honestly, it, it is very delicious. Like I said, the noodles are kind of like spaghetti, but the flavor is really, really good, and I'm excited for the pork. Oh yeah, the pork is where it's at. I like that a lot. I also like the bok choy. Uh-oh, I'm dropping my nudes again. I think I just need to switch over to the spoon. I think that'll be easier. There we go, that's a good bite. I actually don't know how to eat this properly. I'm just, <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna be swarping spaghetti here. And enough with the noodles. Here we are, good old 
Hawaii and I have a feeling that this is gonna be my favorite booth it's so popular though it looks like it's actually the most popular booth here and I want to take a look at the uh, menu hi friends how are you hello. oh hello <laughs> the menu should be right here so we're gonna take a look see we got the cool pork slider with sweet and sour dole pineapple chutney and a spicy mayonnaise. Then we got the spam Nigeri with sushi rice, teriyaki glaze, spam, spicy mayonnaise, eel sauce, and nori. And then the passion fruit cheesecake, which is actually a part of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Emile's Montage Fun Maj. I think I said that completely bad. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the slider and then the uh, spam sushi. I'm just gonna call it spam sushi. I just think it sounds funny that way. Spam sushi. All right, here it is. The spam sushi. It actually looks so good. I'm very excited to try this. And then we got the pork slider here and I love the Dole Whip pineapple chutney on there. And also I got the IPA. So I got a little bit of everything and I'm excited. The only thing I didn't get was the cheesecake. All right, first things first, we're gonna do the slider. Now, I do love this slider. I've had it before many a times. It is just so good, and it's one thing that I always look forward to. I'm a little upset that I don't have the Spam hash this year. Like, they had like a little Spam with potatoes and peppers and onions, and it was phenomenal. And that was one of my favorite things from the uh, food and wine last year. And this was up there too, so here we go. It's a little bit soggy though because of the pineapple chutney. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, seriously, this is so good. I mean, I like applesauce on my pork chops, but I just love pineapple chutney on my pulled pork. Like, <laughs> this is such a great combination. Uh, this is one of those things, whenever I come to the park, if I'm looking for a quick bite, I will get every single time. The only thing I wish, like, they would have more pork on the bun. Like, it's a really good roll, too. Like, the bread, like, the bun itself is good. But I wish there was a little bit more pork in there because now it's all bread and just one chunk of pork on the side here. So, I'm, I feel like I'm going to get only one complete bite out of it. Hmm. <laughs> I also went with the IPA, just a good old six ounce, you know, didn't need to go big old beer, and I'm excited to try it. Hopefully it's not too hoppy. You know, when it comes to the uh, IBUs on uh, 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 IPAs, I feel like it gets confusing when you're like IBU, IPA, ABV, but uh, I hope it's not too hoppy. Honestly, there wasn't that many great beer choices this year for the festival. Uh, not the ones that I have tried, so I kind of, I mean, oh, the, the Kentucky Pumpkin Ale. That one was good, but it was 10%, very strong. Ah, oh, that's a good beer. That's a good IPA. Not too hoppy. Very good. Very smooth. Mm-hmm. Now it's time for the moment of truth. The Spam Sushi. Look at the Spam underneath there. Look at that. I am excited. I'm going for it. I'm very, very pumped for this. Uh, I think it's been the thing I've been talking about most all day today. Here we go. I got my chopsticks ready. And I think I'm just going to bite into the side of it. I think that'd be like the best way to go. I'm just going to pick it up like this and go for it. Okay, I like it. Normally, I don't get mayonnaise on things, but you really can't taste the mayonnaise on this. And I taste a lot of rice. I don't really get a lot of spam in there, but also the piece that I did have really didn't have a lot of that teri teriyaki on it. You know what I mean? I can see this one actually has a lot more to it, so I think I'll have to try this piece next. I'm gonna try it like this. A little upside down spam sushi. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. You definitely gotta get more of the sauce. You gotta get, I think that's the eel sauce in there maybe. I think that's what I read right. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not, but that's what you need. That's the thing that makes it unique and good. If I would have to choose between both of them, I would go with the slider though. Just because I really love it. I had high expectations for the uh, sushi, but now that I realize that they got rid of the spam hash, which I loved, if they brought back the spam hash, I would say that would be number one, but the slider is really good. Solid choice. In fact, I might put that in my top five things at this festival. Definitely. The slider is, it, it hits so good. 
Well, there we have it. We've officially went to all the boots here at Food and Wine Festival. That was the last floor that weren't open yet, and we did it. Now, I actually, like I said before, I'm thinking about heading over and trying to ride Test Track in the single rider line. But first, I want to stop in the Odyssey because I hear the talking trash can from Electric Umbrellas in here. So I want to go find them. And I don't know which one it is. Like, I don't know which one it is. So I'm just basically going to walk around and like just go up to all the things and... That's not him either. Thanks. It's gonna go around just pushing trash cans. You know what? People are gonna be wondering what I'm doing. Like if they don't know. <laughs> yeah. How are you? <laughs> You're good. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, an electric umbrella. They used to have a trash can that when you like push it open, it talks to you. It says something, and they moved it in here. But I don't think. Let's see. Maybe right here. No, that's not it either. Oh, right here. Let's see. They also have a DJ in here. Oh, Ooh. thank you. Oh, okay, I see. It's because it says push on there. Hold on. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. One more time. Hey, dude, like your trash is totally awesome. Lucky day, French fries. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop that! I ordered pastrami, not salami. Cool. Thank you. It only took two tries, which isn't that bad, and I love it. And uh, a good way to tell, I guess, is just by the push thing. And I read that too, but it never really dawned on me. And now let's see uh, test track, single rider line. No wait. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It says right now it's a 75 minute standby wait, but the past 10 times I rode this, I didn't wait at all. Single rider was just a walk on. So we'll see. Even if I have to wait five minutes, that's still pretty amazing. But look at it, I'm so excited. I love Test Track. There it goes. Right here is the lightning lane. We're in the single rider lane. Oh, look at this. I think we might be in luck. We'll find out in a second or two. Oh, oh, still good. Perfect. Literally 100% walk on right now. This is so cool. Thanks. Wow, there's literally nobody in line. I'm just walking. I haven't stopped yet. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Look at Literally 60 second wait. That's crazy. <laughs> right? Oh. The seatbelt check is on. For your safety, the main seat for seatbelt fastening your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Take a supervised choice. On star. Can never go wrong with an evening ride on test track and not waiting seriously it's like the past 11 times now i've never waited for test track since uh i don't know i guess the lightning lane kicked up again 
And just as we are finishing up our day, it's starting to rain. I couldn't time it any better than this. Right now it's just a, a light little shower, so hopefully it doesn't start downpouring before we get to our car. But what it, perfect timing. I'm gonna have to close out the video in case we need to beeline it for the car, but uh, rather shut it down now. Shut it down! <laughs> Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. If you wanna see the rest of my Epcot food and wine videos, I think I did, uh, this is my third one, uh, and I'll put the links in the description so you guys can check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! Look at that little pretty sunset happening over there and the rain stopped and boy oh boy am I parked far away. I'm about to actually be leaving Epcot. <laughs> I hope trams start up soon. I literally think uh, yeah maybe about 10 more spots before it's the end here but at least it's a good walk out though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>